Hello everybody, this is Vasvi from At Home Tuition. In today's class, let us learn about the domain and range of the six trigonometric functions. So we know the trigonometric ratios, the six ratios are sine, cos, tan, cosecant, secant and cot, right? In the earlier classes, we have studied trigonometric ratios for acute angles as the ratio of sides of a right angle triangle, right? So you must be uh, remembering that. Let me write it for sine. When it is 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees, right? So this will uh, cover the first quadrant. So here your value, your sine will start from 0. Then it is half. Then it is 1 over root 2. Then this is root 3 over 2. And when it reaches 90, it becomes 1. The value of sine increases from 0 to 1, from 0 to 90 degrees, okay? So you can see that it's been plotted here. When the angle is 0, it is 0, right? Sine is 0, so the range is marked here as 0. And when it is 30 degree, it is half, so it would be somewhere here, okay? And 45 degrees, it is even more. Uh, 60 it goes more and at 90 degree it reaches at this point where you have your value as 1 okay you can see that the value is 1 over here okay so this is in the first quadrant I can also give you this one okay uh, just look if this is your xy plane this is 0 degrees this is 90 or pi by 2 okay or you could say pi by 2. This is pi. Or you can say 180. This is 3 pi by 2. Or you can say 270 degrees. And here it is again 360 degrees. Okay. So the sine value is. Here it is 0. From 0 it goes to 1. Okay. From 1 it goes to 0 again and from 0 it comes back to negative 1 and again 0. Likewise it keeps going. Okay, So and in the first quadrant we know it is all silver teacups. Right? The first, in the first quadrant all your trigonometric ratios are you know, positive. So you can see that the graph is on the positive side of y axis. Okay? Till it reaches here and even in the second quadrant it is sine right since this is sine function sine has to be positive and when you it just comes down and at pi at uh, 180 degree it is go, it has to become zero so it will reach this position zero okay till then your uh, values are sine function is positive now what happens from zero uh, uh, when it reaches 270, it becomes minus 1. So, this is your 270 angle. So, it becomes minus 1 here. Okay. You can see that it is minus 1. And since it is uh, on the third quadrant, only tan is positive. So, sine is negative here. That's why this value is negative. Okay. And again, it increases. And when it is 360, it goes back to 0 degree. Okay. And you can say that this full uh, movement, you call it a circle. So, this movement keeps repeating. See, this shape is repeated again and again. Every It is repeated f, every 2 pi times. Okay. So, from 0 to 2 pi, it makes one circle and then again it goes. And it has been repeated on either side. And you can find that the maximum value... Uh, the range the y can have and the minimum value y can have is uh, 1 and negative 1, right? So, your, ra your range ranges from negative 1 to 1, okay? You won't have values more than that. It should be within negative 1 to 1, understood? So, that is what is uh, shown here in the sine function. So, the dom domain is all real numbers and the range is from negative 1 to positive 1. Now look at the second uh, function that is the domain of 
domain and range of cos function. And as, as I told you, the domain is going to be all real numbers since we are going to plot it on the x-axis, right? It is x values. And the range, here you have a slight difference, like, you know, the value of uh, cos is like this, okay? It starts from 1, then it is root 3 over 2, then it is 1 over root 2, and finally it is half and then 0, right? This is, this shows that cos function at 0 it is 1 and it decreases to 0 when it is at 5 by 2 position. Okay, so I'll just show that in this graph. So your cos function, this is for cos function, is, um, it starts from 1 and you will have 0 at 90 degree and again it goes back down to negative 1 and make it a 0 again. Okay, so this would be the value of your uh, cos functions and see I am just plotting it. At 0 degree it is 1. So I have marked it as 1 in the 0 degree. And at uh, pi by 2 degrees it is 0. So when the graph is pi by 2 I have made it as 0. Then for the third one it is uh, that is your at pi okay at 180 degree it is negative 1. So you, it comes down straight and it is here. At 270, it is going to be at 270, it is 0, right? So, it just moves up and it is 0. So, your graph goes like this. From 1, it goes down to negative 1 till here. And again, it climbs up. It goes up till 1, okay? And it keeps moving within this border, okay? So, your range is going to be negative 1 over 1. Negative 1 comma 1. Okay. Next one is the tan function. We know tan is sine over cos. Right. So let me draw the tan function at 0. Your sine was uh, 0 and cos is 1. Right. So that's 0 over 1 which is equal to 0. And at 90 it is 1 over 0. So that is not defined. So I take it as infinity. Then from the second quadrant till the third quadrant, right? So, the second quadrant again starts from negative infinity, okay? It starts from negative infinity. Your tan function is going to be 0, okay? Initially. So, here at 0 degrees it is 0. And when it goes up, you know the tan values are like, you know, 0, 1 over root 3, 1 and root 3. Right? And it is infinity here. Okay. So, it goes to infinity. And then, uh, at 180, it starts from negative infinity. And it comes to, at 260, negative infinity, at, two, at pi, it is 0. Okay? At pi, it is 0. And then, from pi, uh, till 270, it is going to increase again the same way. And now it goes to positive infinity. Then at 270 it is again a break there. So then it comes from negative infinity to 0. Here uh, you find that the range of tan function is negative infinity to positive infinity. It can take up all real numbers. Okay. Now the cot is just the opposite of the tan. Right. It is the reciprocal of the tan. Your cot is like this cot function if this is your x y graph for cot it is first infinity to 0 0 to negative infinity then the, there is a break then at pi by 2 it is again from there it is infinity to 0 and again from here it goes to negative infinity okay so, your range is going to be positive infinity to negative infinity and this is the picture there. At 0 degree, it starts from infinity and at pi by 2 or 90 degree, it comes to the middle and then it goes down to negative infinity. 
one more thing i would like to say is the cycle is repeated every five times in in sin cos cosecant and secant it is at every two pi turns the circle rotates here it is like you know at every pi values the the picture is um, repeated understood so here too your domain is all real numbers and the range is also all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity next is the cosecant x at cosecant x let us plot this again your cosecant x is the reciprocal of sin right so we know for sin it is zero this is for sin i i repeat this is for sin sin it is positive 1 zero and negative 1 right so when when i draw the cosecant graph it should be all reciprocal of this right so here it is zero the sin zero is zero so here when you write the reciprocal of it it is 1 over 0 which is infinity okay so here it is infinity then at sin it is 1 so 1 over 1 is positive 1 only then at uh, 270 degrees it is 0 0 means it should be uh, not determined okay it's infinity and finally for sin it is negative 1 okay so cosec is also negative 1 the reciprocal of sin so that's negative 1 okay here uh, your domain is all real numbers and the range would be any values between negative 1 to 1 and the last one here is a secant function again the domain will have all real numbers let us see how it has been done so this is the reciprocal of uh, cos so the cos is like 1 0 -1 and 0 right so uh, the reciprocal of this would give you like uh, for cosecant i mean for secant it would be like this is 1 over 1 which is 1 and 0 over 1 is infinity okay so you can see here at 0 degree it is 1 okay your uh, here it is 1 and when it reaches pi by 2 it is infinity it goes up okay then again it starts from negative infinity okay it start from neg negative infinity and it comes up to negative 1 okay it comes up to negative 1 then from negative 1 again when it is 270 degrees it is go it goes to the negative infinity and again it starts from positive infinity and reaches 1 this cycle is repeated and you find that the curves are like just uh, opposite to what we had in co cos it's a reciprocal of cos and here your domain is going to be all real numbers as i said already and the range is real but your y is less than or equal to negative 1 and uh, greater than or equal to 1 okay in between this negative 1 to positive 1 you won't have the secant function see in this space you don't have any secant function even here it is the same the domain is all real number for cosecant and the range is again it is a real number but y should be less than or equal to negative 1 or greater than or equal to 1 so the space between minus 1 to plus 1 will not be graphed here okay so these are the domain and ranges of the six trigonometric functions just learn it with the graph this may help you in solving problems later on thank you see you in the next class till then bye